Hi there, my name is Ron Hartwell, and today I'm going to talk to you about the basics of factoring. I'm going to start at the very beginning, and I'm about to disappear, and you're going to start seeing my paper. To start with, what is a factor? Now, a factor is something multiplied by another factor to get a product. In other words, 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 is a factor, 4 is a factor, and 12 is the product. Now this is a noun. Now when we say factoring, we basically mean we take the number 12 and we say, okay, what two things can I multiply together to get 12? So if I were factoring 12, I could make 3 times 4, or 2 times 6, or I could do 1 times 12. Right? And those would all be factors of 12. Now, if I had something like 2x plus 4, right? I could actually break that down into two things that could be multiplied together to get this, right? What I could do is I could take, using the distributive property, I could take 2 and I could make it times x plus 2. Now, in this case, both 2 and x plus 2 would be factors, which would equal 2x plus 4. Furthermore, if I have x squared plus 4x plus 4, I could break that down into x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now, if I were to multiply these two things together, I would get x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, to just to show this, we do x times x, and we get x squared. We do x times 2, and we get plus 2x. Then we do 2 times x, which is plus 2x, and 2 times 2, which is plus 4, and you can see we get x squared plus 4x plus 4. We say that we have now factored this into two factors, x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now the first type of factoring we're going to look at is basically a use of the distributive property. For example, let's say we have the next kind of factoring we want to use is basically using the distributive property. If we have 9x squared plus 3x, we can take a 3x out of both terms and we get 3x times 3x plus 1. If we multiply those back together, 3x times 3x is 9x squared, and 3x times 1 is 3x. Now, suppose we had something like this. Now, we have 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. Now, this concept is also using the distributive property. What I can do is split it into two parts, and now I can take a 2x squared out of the first one, and I get x, 2x, plus 1. And on this one, I can take a 2 out of it, and I get 2x plus 1. Now if you look at my two terms, 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 1 are both 
part of both both terms. So I can take that out using distributive property. And what I have left is 2x squared plus 2. Now I can further factor that into 2 times x squared plus 1. So the complete factorization would be as follows. For 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 2, I can factor that into 2 times 2x plus 1 times x squared plus 1. And that would be completely factored. Now probably one of the very first things you should always do when you're looking to factor something is basically see if you can apply the distributive property to it. If you have x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 4 minus 4x squared, you can take and x squared out of each term. x squared times x squared plus 3x minus 4 would be the first thing you do in order to factor this. You can factor it further but we'll cover that in a few minutes. Now after you've used the distributive property to simplify you can take something like x squared plus 4x plus 4 and you can factor that. Start by looking at the last term. What we want are factors of 4 that add up to the middle term which is 4x. So our factors of 4 are 1 and 4, which equal 5, and 2 plus 2, which equals 4. So we know that 2, those are the factors we want. So we have x plus 2 times x plus 2 should equal x squared plus 4x plus 4. If we multiply this out, x times x equals x squared, x times 2 equals 2x, and 2 times x equals 2x, and 2 times 2 is 4 which does give us in fact x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now suppose we have what we had in this last one x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now we still look at this last term. We then look at this sign we want factors of 4 that when I subtract them I get 3. So 2 minus 2 would equal 0 and 4 minus 1 would equal 3. So that means that I want x plus 3, 4, and x minus 1. Now, I know that the 4 is plus because the greater number always gets the sign 